<laughs> uh, stuck on you is what you're going to be thinking with the heat index today and possibly oh, 100 gosh. degrees next week, according to Frank <laughs> on Thursday. But colder weather you'll be wishing for as well. It's football season. We need it. And Casey. cranks up a week from tonight. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on this glorious <laughs> Thursday morning. Dr. Bob Labby. Woo! Shut up, Austin. Yeah, baby. Got his purple. Here we go. Bobby, the good get news one. is. Shut up, we'll be gone most of September. No. <laughs> yeah. All you haters out there, there's a congressman that said something in California. Just We've been getting that. a lot of complaints about you, Donnie. <laughs> what are we going to do? Hey, yeah. when you're jealous of me, you're jealous of me. You're going to, everybody hates the winter. That's all it is to it. <laughs> oh, that's why everybody, Jamie, that's why everybody despises the Crimson Tide of Alabama, right? right? Shut that's up. Exactly. Right. That's hey, exactly. Thank you very much. Speaking of winter, Coach Alan Creasy will be with us later on this morning. He'll start his, uh, he'll be with us second half. He'll start his seasonal <laughs> thing with us here, talking about football they play. Hartsell at Athens Friday night. Man, a big rivalry. Of course, you know, Hartsell got moved to that other division. We'll talk about that with Coach Creasy in a little bit, too. Plus, Gloria will have the weather for you. Tony and Frank in the house, as always, 230-4988. Hey, Bobby, did you ever get your Sports Illustrated from your mailman? I did. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that thing had been looked like it had been read about 100 times. It did, <laughs> and we put it back. <laughs> we'll talk about this in just a little bit. Man, alive, it's good to be number one, at least in here. <laughs> Number one, Alabama. Of course, y'all know Bobby just brought it to my attention. He said, who are you predicting to win the national championship this year? <laughs> Duh. You did. No, you uh, did. We got that. a lot of stuff going on this morning. And y'all no. please excuse my smoking hot wife this morning. She inadvertently wore hey. purple again on a hey. Thursday. It's not inadvertently. Yeah. So subconsciously, <laughs> she's a ti LSU Tiger fan. No. Shut up. Man, let me tell my guy go through this on a Thursday morning. No, let me let me state this correctly, Jamie. Yeah. You can't look to your right or your left. Yeah. <laughs> no, never mind. Just just no, go that way. Go that way. That's, I'm sorry. All right, let's go to the way. Right now, because as Frank says, it's heating up. By the way, I the first day of fall is September 23rd. It'll probably be around 50 degrees by then. No. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Wishful. You know. That's a big spring jam I, weekend. I, I, about 50 degrees. Pool, I don't look at it. I don't even get in anymore. I don't walk around and make sure it looks good. All right, here's Gloria with the weather. All right, boys, behave. You know Smoking they hot. All right, it? let's go ahead and go over the forecast. <laughs> 73 <laughs> degrees outside right now. Going to be, yes, a humid day. Yesterday, actually, temperatures reached 96, 97, much different than what they predicted, even I predicted. So today, 95 for your high, 66 for your low. Don't look at that rain, no only 20% chance. Uh, humid humidity will be up today, but I don't think you're going to see a shower at all. Tomorrow, 94 for your high, 62 for your low, full sunshine. Just the extended forecast looking like dry weather. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Yes. Extra perfect, isn't it? How come we don't have a hundred like Frank? Oh, we ain't got yeah, no a hundred. It's gonna be Thursday on there. It's gonna snow. Who's Frank's got a hundred? Usually right. Hmm? Who's got a hundred listed? Frank says Frank it's gonna be he saw one of the little stations in Huntsville said a hundred. Oh, right. Thursday. let me uh, reiterate something I made uh, uh, talked about yesterday. I said y'all can get prepared. We're going digital yesterday, so we may be <laughs> off the air for an hour or two. Well, we were. <laughs> we did go digital for about five minutes, and then we converted back to analog Friday. What happened? Uh, well, we just had a few technical issues we you weren't prepared for. planning involved, uh, but oh. I about pulled my hair out. They didn't call I about pulled They your didn't hair notify out. people. I get nervous. You know, I get nervous. He's like you get nervous on you get nervous on the games and, and just, I, just I, I get nervous. I'm there, Why ain't this working? Why ain't this working? Why ain't Dave and Gloria doing their job? <laughs> <laughs> the so way I look at it, I got us this far. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, I personally, all by myself, got us this far. Yeah. You're Everybody insane. else is just riding on my coattails. He had he had You're one insane. viewer. Huh? He had one viewer before he brought you in. So I mean <laughs> You know. You're insane. My mom used to watch. Before we get cranking this morning, though, I did change cable I, companies. I want to say I got a sad story to report this morning. I got this out in the yeah. Huntsville Times. Aniston police officer shot in head. Authorities have arrested an unnamed Aniston man in the shooting with Aniston police officer. Officer Justin Solo Hub is in critical condition after being shot in the head. He was 27 years old. He stopped to talk to two young men Wednesday morning. Then he, the men ran. He chased them and then was shot in the head. Mm. He was on life support last night. Now, let me show you, show that picture, Brad. Here's a picture of my son, John. John was a fraternity brother and best friends with this kid. 
John calls me last night. They were on their way from Georgia. Is that John, the guy? John's, John's on the left. left. The police officer that just got Aww. shot and killed is on the right. Um, he, he did die? I, think in, I thought John told me last night, but John was, was in Afghanistan, in Iraq, got shot at numerous times being in the Marines. John's from Somerville, and this guy was his best friend mm -hmm. or one of his best friends at Jacksonville State, and they were in a fraternity together. I said. So he calls us last night while he was on the way over. I'm thinking he said the guy died. Mm. Uh, just no, tragic. Last night they reported he was still in surgery. So okay. We well, it doesn't matter. I don't, matter. Know, if, I don't know if he's dead or Maybe not. Maybe they catch the guy. Did they catch I the people so. who did it? I think they arrested somebody in that. Well, so. you know, it's just like that uh, double murder over in Decatur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, and, and one of my best friends, I'll tell you the quick story. He gets a, he wakes up in the middle of the night with a hankering to go get a milkshake. So he lives right down the street from Crystal's. So he gets in his car, goes down, goes through the drive through and this was right around 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was sometime between 3 and, and 5. And they said, the police said that the last uh, customer they had was at 3 o'clock. He may have been the very last customer that came through the wow. drive through well, And he said the older gentleman that was killed was the one that waited on him. Really? He was the manager, the night manager yeah. there. I, I just... Mm. I don't know what's wrong with people. I mean, if you're going to go and rob a store like that, then do it. The guy worked there, Bob. But don't there, hurt anybody. Yeah, that's just, he, and he works the there. He, he, he was an employee. That's how he got in, yeah. yeah I mean, if you're going to rob somewhere, which is stupid anyway, oh, but boy, don't that's kill just, somebody. That's just... Oh, that's awful. Uh, you need to do it. Idiot. Guy can Idiot. go to ATL go back to as far as I'm where concerned. Where you can watch them being hung. Uh, that's what I'm voting Idiots. for. Idiots. All right. Changing subject. Let's get back to some more humor this morning after the talk about stuff like that. Uh, USA Today this morning, this may be a story you might want to pay attention to. Well, you pay attention to Not it. you, her. <laughs> well, I know what you pay attention to. <laughs> She's doing where fine. You, where you live may influence your attitudes and actions toward marriage and divorce more than you think. Suggest so a report out today that gives the clearest picture in 20 years mm. about the evolution of marriage and divorces across that, the USA. SEC country. <laughs> says here, states in the Northeast have the lowest marriage and divorce rates for both men and women. The South has the highest. Because people in the Northeast New don't Jersey's get married. Jersey's the lowest. States with They're high rates include Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Texas. Says this does not mean you need to move to the Northeast if you want your marriage to last. <laughs> yeah. Oh, get this. Okay. In the South, people tend to marry earlier and often have less education, both of which increase divorce risk, plus they usually marry their cousin. Oh, no, it doesn't say that. I made that part up. Okay. But the lesson here is that only if you're in Arkansas. A higher level of education <laughs> leads hope. to a higher level of education leads to more stable families. I, I'm, hey, I'm offended by this. You're offended by that? Yeah, just because I've been divorced three times, I got a college education. You do somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> so, hi. Huh? By the way, coming up in sports, I have a a, a little thing I'm going to read just for you, Jamie Cooper. Got anything to do with this? Uh, very similar, yes. You know, I could have attributed about you. I could have attributed to this right here. You did. Good. After have. three times, you contributed a lot to it. Well, you're so. not safe yet. Well, you should have moved to the Northeast a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, I should have <laughs> moved. Where's your call problem? anyway? <laughs> That's probably they have to bundle up more up there. Well, yeah, what's going to happen is this weekend, Hurricane Guns going up there. They're all going to bundle up together for the whole weekend. Then there'll be boot. divorces galore in about a week. Hey, Bobby, you ever interviewed this guy? Who's that? Glenn Campbell, yep. 75 years sure did. old. Met him, had a great night with him up in Nashville a couple of years ago. Great guy. Wichita lineman, Galveston. By the time I get to Phoenix, rhinestone cowboy. He's 75, gentle on my mind. His wife is 53. He's 75. See, nothing wrong with that. No. <laughs> She's a young body, too. They've been married uh, 25 years. They, they got you know, he's when, got a new album out. In the yeah. South. And when I interviewed him a couple of years ago, uh, I didn't know it at the time about the Alzheimer's that he's yeah. been. Uh, came out with. Mm -hmm. But during my interview, he had a hard time remembering some of the things I was asking him, and he would ask his wife the answers. So that told me right there What's something was... About? <laughs> Something. What's he talking about? Yeah. So, so something. Who was it? So something right there told me there was something wrong with Glenn at that so time. So you diagnosed him on the phone. I sure did. I I told a friend of mine. I said there's something going on with Glenn Campbell. 
Who is that? That's <laughs> Dr. Bob. That's who this is. All right. I wanna, listen, I wanna but that's a true story. Does that, this, mean, hey, does, I, that, does that mean that I can just leave you at a store and you try to find your way out? <laughs> you left me on the mountain Saturdays. I was trying to walk. Yeah, tell that story. What happened on the mountain? Put him in the middle of Walmart and he'll never get out. Yeah. Well, I'd hang out with, I could hang out with Frank. How do you get lost from going from here to the big I, tower? Something you could see. It. I didn't get lost. She did. Oh, okay. All right. Dear Jamie. Dear morning. Jamie. Oh, boy. Jamie. Here we go. Y'all fill in on this right here. Okay. Depression takes its toll. I had a fabulous time in college, Jamie. I was president of my sorority, a peer mentor at our advising center, my active in many organizations. I was granted many awards and honors. I loved rushing around with little sleep and juggling many things on my plate. Now my life is a different story. I struggle with severe clinical depression and anxiety. After graduating, I took a job that pays well and I met a great guy. It sounds wonderful. Sound like you my talk life about is miserable. I said, all I get is I get tons of complaints every day, never get a compliment. We work six days a week. I have little time to maintain friendship. I feel like a failure. All I want to do is curl up in bed and cry. Aww. Downtime creates anxiety, which triggers my depression and leaves me Aww. crying all the time. <laughs> get her. I realize I cannot go back to the glory days of college and that it's unhealthy to keep looking backwards. But I feel as if I am grieving for the life I used to have. How, Jamie? Bobby, shut up and Gloria, do I move on? Get you a dog. First of all, you need to move to the Northeast and get remarried. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I'd say. <laughs> Bobby, people trying to relive their glory years. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nobody that, sitting over here, is it? That's about like Jamie, yeah. trying to live them country <laughs> rover days. <laughs> hey, I relive them every Monday. Well, I, boy, I, 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 I know people have problems, go through depression. We've all gone through that and still do that in some cases. And just get a life. That's the best way I can tell. But get a life and move on. You know, it's just like i got a couple of friends of mine that are my age. We all went to high school together. Six. And, and almost. And uh, they still feel like they should be 21 years old when they do physical activities. I said, morons, you're 50 something years old. Things are going to change. Accept it. Do you yes, hang out? I, I, with, there, I mean, literally, do you hang out with people that you went to high school with? Absolutely. I never. Oh, I've got maybe I half a dozen guys. Hmm. Yeah, but, you're, but 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 your you wife's still in her twenties, so. You know what? Your wife's still in her. See, you still reliving your youth. <laughs> you know, some, every some, day. Some of, every day. Some of, you know some, they have vitamins for that now. <laughs> you, know, you know, some of them. <laughs> you want some? In the same color as <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, Jamie, there's some of I'm us. There's some of us are very fortunate to have a younger female in our <laughs> life to make us keep, make us feel younger and stay younger. So, see. So that's. What I you just guys stay did. that way, you know. Hey. <laughs> Hey, Alabama lives. Well, in our path. advice for this loser is, hey, a get a life, get a dog, move up north. <laughs> yeah, get a new job, man. Switch husbands. I mean, do something <laughs> exciting. <laughs> hey, you know? You're in the south. You can divorce. It doesn't matter. You're part of statistic already. <laughs> oh my, you know, I, I, I feel for folks, but you know. So you but, don't have anything to be depressed about. You're married to a living legend. You got a big nice house. You got a big nice vehicle to drive. Your husband's got a, well, never mind about that. Is that the only thing that's big and nice in her family is what I want to know? <laughs> is that the only thing big and nice in her family? <laughs> well, she got anything she's ever wanted and more. Oh, my Married way. to a legendary, you know, morning show host and TV star. I think we need to go to break. <laughs> You know, no. He's got naked in front of a bunch of people. You know, my no, she's married to a big dairy, which means a big boob. You know, so. one thing I got. I ain't short on ego. Let's go from that, all right? That's true. We'll come back with CNN in just a moment. Y'all got to make a comment this morning. You can text 603 48. You brought your phone. You know I can text now. Give out your I heard text oh, hey, hey, I texted the other show to say whoever the, the, the lady was on here talking about was really? like, Nobody's going to go downtown on Saturday. They're going to be watching football. It's the first football kickoff <laughs> next Saturday. Nobody's going to be out What's there. For you know, I mean, by the way, I, got, I, I, did get, <laughs> I did get an email, I mean, a uh, text from you guys the other day with a, I don't know, it looks like a. Yeah, did I miss that? Did I see you one? I shouldn't uh, Is that what it is? Imitation. Imitation. It is so small. I can't, I can't even read. No, what the Bobby, heck is this it, thing saying? Send your email and you'll be able to read it. Well, I, I can't do I that on my phone. Did I inadvertently way. send you one too? Yeah. <laughs> what? Did I inadvertently send you yes, one you too? Yes, you did. <laughs> I've only been invited to their house one time. I invited my, them to my house three times I've the last year. And they and they've turned me down every time. I've been to LSU party. I've been invited. And they told me that. No, you know, and. 
and, right. and, and I've told people, and I've told people, I said, well, you got to understand, during football season, Jamie doesn't even leave the house. That's right. He barely goes out on the back porch to take a whiz. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that was a good game. During a break. All right, we got to take a break. We'll be right back with ZNN in just a moment. Oh, if y'all are still watching, y'all, a couple hundred thousand this morning, don't forget, I'm going digital Friday. Woohoo! I may be off the air. Hey, we all know how there. painful we'll that can be. Huh? You know what? We all know how painful that can be when you go digital. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go to break. We got to take a break. <laughs> Y'all, hang on. <laughs> oh.